If you can light the spark of curiosity in a child, they will learn without any further assistance very often. Children are natural learners. It's a real uh, achievement to put that particular ability out or to stifle it. My school experience was lecture, one-way lecture, teachers who have to teach 30, 20, 30, 40 children who are not really interested and uh, they do very little to help you identify your passions, your interests. They, uh, they do very little to engage you. You should want to go to school. You should want to uh, learn. In 1930, the Republican-controlled House of Representatives, in an effort to alleviate the effects of the, anyone, anyone, the Great Depression, passed the, anyone, anyone? Uh, if you look at a child, the greatest love for a child is to learn, to inquire. But schools kill it. My school killed it. Our education system is based on being smart, having a great memory. It is not necessarily geared towards questioning, towards being willing to be wrong. Our education system makes it about always being right. This new world uh, requires you to be willing to punt yourself. Actually, the college graduate of today um, and even a student who works uh, or studies in a traditional model uh, will be in for several rude shocks. Um, the rude shocks are going to be, the first rude shock is going to be that the SAT, as we know it, is being modified. From 2017 onwards, the SAT will look completely different. The SAT will evaluate your skills at finding patterns. The SAT will, uh, re will evaluate your problem solving skills. Uh, so essentially the SAT is moving from lower order to higher order thinking. So the, 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 child, the child, the student of today will have serious trouble getting into the best colleges in the world because that's not how they're learning in school. Uh, certainly the child of today will have significant trouble getting jobs because uh, most of the education is based on memorization, on knowing things, but knowing things are not good enough. So there is a, there is a, serious, uh, there is a serious situation and not too many people are addressing it. So I started visiting schools. I, I found that most schools that I visited were traditional schools, certainly in India, um, lesser so elsewhere in the world. But during this, this uh, school visit journey of mine, I stumbled upon some very interesting, some highly innovative schools. Um, I found one and then through that school I found others and I realized that there is this uh, breed of schools. They, they, they're known as 21st century schools. They're, uh, they're all over the world. Uh, about five years ago, maybe they were less than 1% of the total number of schools. I'm talking about United States and Europe, but today that percentage has risen to 5%. So roughly 5% of all schools in the United States and Europe are under the broad category of innovative 21st century schools. Every child starting at the age of five learns by doing, learn through projects. So project-based learning, inquiry-based learning, immersive learning, you're, you're not dividing physics, chemistry, math, English, geography into compartments. Most of the learning is interdisciplinary learning. So you're learning by doing real world work, real world projects, and yet ticking all the boxes that you need to tick to, to, uh, to imbibe the curriculum. Project idea before we plan anything 
um, and then we look specifically at the skills that the children need to learn. Um, so we do start, again, with the child first, with their interest and passions, and then we build the skills in around it. So um, when we're doing our normal lesson plans, we will look at what genres would fit nicely with the topic that we were doing. So diary entries, for example, in English would fit really nicely. With me up and dressed, I headed off for work. But I realised I left my rucksack in the house. So I ran to get it, and I'm going to write, when the screaming air raid sirens went off. In math, we relate that as well, like you've um, just seen, we kind of try and relate it as much as possible to a real life context. So in a few weeks we are going to be building our own gas masks and we're going to build our, an Anderson shelter with the children's parents. Um, and they're all going to come in and share lunch with us and do World War II themed activities. Um, so the children have designed their own dig for victory garden as well and they had to calculate the area and perimeter of the shapes to, to make sure that the, the measurements that they use when we go and design and plan out our garden will be accurate. The same with angles as well, we're going to recreate um, as if a bomb had gone off, so they're going to position the wood in places, measure how that's going to go. And we try and link it as much as possible to make it real, so they've got a real outcome. By doing real world projects, dealing with the real world, working in teams, not only are you learning everything that you need to learn, you also remember everything. Because now it's not learning by memorization, it's learning with a context. It's learning for a purpose. And it's learning keeping an end goal in mind which is the project and you're learning repeatedly so therefore you don't forget i've got a challenge i want you to make yourself into a right angle go make yourself a right angle and to make sure that you know what a right angle is i would like you to show me the right angle right so 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 vega is vega is a culmination of the good work that uh, these incredible schools have done from around the world. We have uh, a Global Schools Alliance in place that comprises of highly progressive 21st century schools, schools like High Tech High in San Diego, schools like Matthew Moss in the United Kingdom, Hearts Home, which is an incredible elementary school in the United Kingdom, a school in Australia. We are talking to a couple of schools in China and uh, Canada about joining this alliance. The idea is that real world education is about knowing the world and knowing the world is real education. Uh, in future, people are going to be working across several continents. Where you work is going to be irrelevant. So the better you understand different cultures, the more relationships you build across several countries and continents are going to be uh, a significant advantage and give you an edge in the real world outside.